everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving here in the United States. I wanted to come in today because there were two things I thought about. One really important one, referent to the broadcast I shared yesterday about um, how gratitude assists manifestation, how it ignites manifestation, how it invites so many unthinkable blessings into our lives, including, of course, healing the physical body. <clears throat> and one of the things I talked about was how, you know, gratitude sometimes can be this like, uh, you know, it's a very heightened state, which is why it's so powerful for manifestation, right? It's a high frequency state. It's an open state. It's a receptive state. And then, <clears throat> you know, we kind of think I need to feel good or feel happy before I can give gratitude or be in gratitude. So I shared a lot of specific ways to sort of like harness gratitude for manifestation. If you didn't see the broadcast, it's, it's available on my YouTube channel. Um, but I also, uh, there were a couple things I, I wanted to share because a lot of people said, well, what about when the pain is so intense or what about when things are so bad or what about when I, just, I don't feel happy? And, and I definitely touched on that. But one thing I've used a lot when I'm in like a low frequency state, like despairing, like uh, upset that something's happening or I'm really, really triggered. Um, you know, when you're in that place of like, oh, how do I get out of this? How, what's the solution here? Where's the resolution here? That's when gratitude is the most powerful. And so what I'll do is just thank you, thank you, thank you that I found my way out of this. I don't even know how it happens. Thank you that this gets resolved. Right. So I talked in the broadcast about, you know, thank you for something that hasn't even happened yet. <clears throat> but this is a really great way to use it. Otherwise, gratitude is like that that ice cream on top of poop thing. Right. Like, oh, I'm so upset. But let me just be grateful. I should be happy. I guess, you know, I do have a lot to be grateful for. And then we kind of bump ourselves out of even really feeling what we're really feeling. But this one is like, you know, when something just seems impossible, like how am I going to find my way through this? How am I going to resolve what's happening in this relationship and just feel so awful, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you that it's taken care of for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, right? From the future place where it is okay and it has resolved and it miraculously, um, there was an amazing solution or an amazing dissolution or resolution. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you that this gets resolved in ways I can't even imagine right now and then I end up back in uh, even greater levels of joy and peace than I've ever imagined before. So this is a really great way to, you know, remember gratitude and, and activate that creation in your life. Because when you go into that, you know, like the presumptive close, right, it does get taken care of. Okay, thank you that uh, there's a point where I'm on the other side of this and I'm so grateful. Um, so that presumptive close creates the circumstances that allow that to happen uh, in a much, much higher degree. Um, and the other thing, which I just listened to a, a, a segment from Kyle Cease that he sent me last night. Um, I woke up really early this morning. I, I don't know why I just wasn't sleeping. So I put it on. And one of the things he was saying that he's done is like, thank you to the shitty thing. Right. We, we often like want to, you know, fix so many things or get rid of so many things or what happens a lot when I see in my community, especially in embracing health, people want to understand it. Where is this coming from? I want to understand it. And the thinking is like, if I just could understand it, then I could be beyond it. But it's like, hmm, what if we don't make that a requirement? Because you're probably not going to understand a lot of things in time for when you want them to dissolve, right? Like you, you want to feel free now and waiting until I understand them could be like forever. So uh, one of the things he, he had said is I'll just be thankful for the shitty thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for whatever this may be uh, bringing me in my life. I was mentioning yesterday I had this really, really severe um, like a headache, like things are just tensed up and tight in my occipital area and the sphenoid, like I can feel it kind of clamped down. And I had had this experience where my, my you know hip came out of joint and I think it like threw my pelvis off. But I'm like, all right, you know what? How is this creating more for me? How is this creating expansion for me? Thank you, thank you, thank you for this experience. Thank you for this headache. And then as I said in the beginning, like thank you that I, I, I'm on a resolution, right? Thank you that... This has resolved in ways I couldn't have imagined. You know, at some point in the in a, in a, in a, that maybe I haven't experienced yet, 
thank you that this has resolved in the most unthinkable way and that I've come into even greater wholeness through this experience. So practice that. Um, any form of gratitude is, is, so, is so powerful. Uh, we obviously, you know, people use it when they eat and things like that. And I, I shared yesterday, you know, we'll do our thank yous. And sometimes they're just really long-winded because, well, we, we, we really appreciate each other. and We live in this amazing, beautiful place. And we have a lot of love. So, um, you know, we won't, we won't wait to eat. We'll just kind of like, you know, dig in and do our grats while we're eating. Otherwise, the food will get cold. And it's such a great thing for your body because it prepares your body, right? Gratitude creates so much receptivity. And then you eat and the body can receive the, the nutrients and, and detoxify what's not needed to such a higher degree. So if you're enjoying a meal today, especially if it's a Thanksgiving meal, um, you know, just remember that. Make it a make it a grateful moment and just um, no matter what may be going on in your life, be grateful for I'm grateful for the shitty thing. I'm grateful that there's a resolution here, right? Even if I don't see it right now. Um, and then of course, you know, any any grats that are apparent that you're really thankful for that are um obvious blessings. Uh, this really changes the physiology and changes your brain state and, um, you know, rebalances your immune system. And even, you know, for me, like the spine and everything that's happening in my body right now, the recalibration. And it's so harmonic for your relationships and for everyone in your life. Um, so remember that. I'm, I'm excited to be sharing that with you today. And I'm sending you lots of love. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.